Since COVID-19 broke out globally, President Museveni has been issuing directives aimed at preventing the spread of the virus. Key among the directives is the suspension of public transport on the 25th of March 2020 for 14 days. The Minister for Works and Transport, Jeno Katumba Mala, now says this deadline is no longer binding due to the fact that Uganda has 53 coronavirus cases. These measures are not time-bound. The only time we may get out of them is when the Minister of Health says now we are out of the woods as far as the virus spread is concerned. But as long as the threat is there, all these measures, uh, as, and as of now, I think they have, so far the president has released 33 measures, and all those measures are working uh, concurrently. There's no one which, which says now this one has a time bound and it, it stops here. Already, some service providers in the public transport sector are calling for the revision of the ban. Even changing that from the time, uh, bring the time to two, was because of their own fault, because they were abusing. The president actually, I think, was a bit even lenient with the border borders because he said, let the border borders continue operating because then they can do the shopping, deliver, you know, he looked at them as being used for delivering uh, essentials to the families. But then the border borders abused that, that privilege and instead they were using the time uh, to study the deployment of the, of the reinforcement officers, then they carry people. Uh, and so the whole thing was about collapse because they, they thought they were acting smart. So I, 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 don't, I don't think it's necessary to push again to five. Jeno Katumba Amala also re-echoed President Museveni's advice for the public to refrain from tempting law enforcement officers into assaulting them. And it's also not uh, good really for you to be, uh, you know, like a cow that there is somebody standing behind you all the time. As a, as a responsible person, you should also know that they, what they're telling me is for my own good and the good of my neighbor and the good of my family. As of this Friday, Uganda has not registered any COVID-19 case for three consecutive days. Dr. Skimono, UBC TV News.